If anyone is to use the well, it will be me. So you will take what little knowledge you can understand and let the rest go to waste? The Inquisition needs you. Corypheus still endangers us all. Perhaps it is better this way. Do as you will with the Well of Sorrows, Inquisitor. But be careful. is done. I'm pleased to report we won the battle, Inquisitor. When you went through that mirror, Corypheus and his archdemon fled the field. I'm not sure why. What he wanted was no longer within the temple. Perhaps. He spent so long trying to get into the temple, he probably couldn't have helped his forces by that point. Then Corypheus is finished. If he is wise, he will hide and rebuild his strength before he attacks again. He will not hide. He won't hide. You hear it. The well speaks to you. Something from that well is speaking to me, though it's hardly making sense. Oh, if only one who understood such voices had used the well's power instead. Then we'd have to rely on her interpretation of them, and whatever she chose to tell us. Have I not been forthcoming enough for you, Spymaster? I told you what the Well could have done, Inquisitor. You should be hearing shouts from the heavens, not whispers. Then help me. Isn't that what you came here to do? 
Earlier, you said you knew what needed to be done next. What did you mean? The dragon isn't an archdemon. It's a dragon in which Corypheus has invested part of his power. Kill it, and his ability to jump to other bodies is disrupted for a time. He can be killed. That's no simple task. Corypheus alone is powerful, but where there's dragon... There is a way, but I'll need Morrigan's help. The voices from the well tell you that, do they? Very well, Inquisitor. Speak to me when you are ready to begin this plan of yours. Are you certain of this? I don't think certain is the right word. I'll see to Skyhold's defenses in the meantime. 